What's going on everyone? This is Lior and welcome back to my channel. Now, before I get into today's content, which I'm going to be talking about one of my recent deals, um, that was a land deal that we uh, just got approval uh, for from the city to build four apartments on. Um, real quick, as always, if this is your first time to my channel, give me a subscribe. I put out tons of new videos every single week talking about all different facets of real estate investing. I talk about some of my deals, tips, and so much more. So if you haven't already subscribed, smash that subscribe button for me. And number two, as always, I put down a link below. If you guys are looking to get into real estate investing, particularly the buy and hold model, I have my cash flow analyzer, my free cash flow analyzer that I like to give away. That way you guys can get started on analyzing different deals in your market because uh, nothing happens without deal analysis. You got to get comfortable with the numbers. So, I so yeah, I wanted to talk in this video about one of my recent deals. So basically we got uh, a piece of land under agreement around the Boston area. It was one of the neighborhoods within Boston and we got it with what's called a zoning contingency. And basically what that meant was we didn't have to close until we have, until we got permits from the city allowing us to build at least three residential units, right? So our strategy was to go permit this thing. Uh, we'd get three units, build that and hold that as a brand new rental building. Now, we, ha we did have by the offer only nine months to do that, which typically, in, even in Boston, which is considered one of the more slower places to get, get approvals for, to build, um, we thought would be enough time. Now, the issue was, this was 18 months ago, the issue was uh, we kind of ran into a couple of delays, right? We first, um, we kind of played, we played the permitting process a little bit more aggressively. Um, you know, we talked to our zoning attorney, right? And a zoning attorney basically can help you analyze what, you can potentially uh, propose to build on a piece of land as well as an architect. And, you know, we knew we could probably get three to four units, but we kind of played a little bit more aggressively and went for that five units to really try and hit a grand slam out of the park. Um, now, unfortunately, once we proposed that to the local community groups, as well as the abutters, we kind of ran into some issues. Uh, they were not super thrilled about having five units on kind of a smaller lot. Uh, so it took some time for us um, you know, to repropose, to redraw plans and go down from five units to a four unit. The other thing that kind of slowed us down as we were in that nine month period per the offer is, you know, we had some issues even getting scheduled for some of these community group meetings. The way it works in Boston is you typically meet with certain community groups um, from that local neighborhood you're trying to build in um, and you kind of talk to them. So we had some delays even coordinating, um, which all in all kind of really delayed the process. So what ended up happening is our nine month uh, period to get a permits, uh, you know, it, eventually it expired and we were kind of in a tough position, right? Do we close on the land without full permits and guarantees from the city that we can build something um, or do we back out of the deal? Now we talked extensively with both our architect as well as our zoning attorney. Um, and at that point we were kind of back and forth with a neighborhood group about a four unit proposal. And from the progress we had so far, it looked like it was a pretty good chance that we'd get that three to four units, right? Obviously, again, no guarantees. There was certainly a risk. Um, but from all the conversations we had in the back and forth, the community was certainly um, starting to kind of open up to that proposal. Um, so at that point, we kind of, what we did is we had to close on the land, which we did. Um, so we, we closed on the land and then continue to go through the zoning process and try to finish it out. Now, two key distinctions for you guys. First of all, um, we closed on it with cash, right? So we ended up bringing some capital partners um, that partnered with us and we closed on it straight up. Here, um, here's the issue. Uh, you, you might be asking, why didn't you get a let loan, right? You could have gotten some bank loan, um, maybe only put down 25% and spared some cash. The issue is most banks will not lend 75% um, on raw land. Some of them don't wanna lend at all. If they will lend on raw land, they might go maybe 40 to 50% loan of value. Um, again, at that point, we had, quite enough, we had quite enough interest from capital partners, and we thought the deal was still very strong, where we decided to close on a cash, and that way we also had no holding cost as we would continue to go through the permitting process. So eventually, over the next nine months, again, you know, this sounds crazy if you're maybe out of, from another area, but in Boston, it can be really slow. We finalized the proposal, right? So we got the neighborhood to agree on a four-unit proposal. And prior to having our final hearing with the zoning board, 
um, of, in the city of Boston. We actually also ended up knocking on doors. So we literally went around the lot um, and knocked on different neighbors' doors and just gave them like kind of a, you know, quick pitch, if you will, about what we were really trying to do just to have more local support, right? We told them, look, we're trying to build really quality housing here. Um, we're not trying to put in brand new luxury like everywhere else. We're trying to put a good, uh, you know, good quality housing that's going to be kept for rental units so that people in the neighborhood can actually live and enjoy it. Um, so that certainly helped. We got quite a bit of support that way as well. Um, and literally, I mean, after almost 18 months from the day we started and got our offer accepted on that land, we finally had our a hearing with the zoning board um, from the city of Boston and got our approvals for the four units. So basically, we're, now that we have our approvals, um, we're still finishing up final kind of design logistics for the city. That's the way it works in Boston. Um, now we're getting our construction funding lined up and hopefully should be breaking ground on this construction project within the next three to four months. Um, you know, we'll, we'll, end up, we'll demo the garage that's on there and fully start, uh, you know, uh, building out the foundation, the frame and everything. So hopefully within the next, I'd say 15 to 18 months, um, you know, we'll finish up the construction process. All in all, it'll probably be about a three year timeline from start all the way to finish. Again, we got, we really got delayed pretty badly. Um, through the permitting process, there was a lot of kind of back and forth. Um, so just if you're going to go down this path of permitting land, um, really understand the different kind of parties, the logistics, what can delay you, um, because it's a whole different ball game than the rental game. So hopefully that makes sense, guys. If you have any questions about that process, what we went through, um, particularly around the Boston area, again, towns by towns can really vary, but if it's particularly in the Boston area, um, obviously feel free to shoot them below. I can also answer general questions. So hopefully that helps guys.